I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey, though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> Oh, he forgot. That actually scared me. Just wait for the. Oh, okay, there we go. I was just. I was about to say, wait for the longest loading <laughs> time ever. But okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Ah. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm going. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. It looks like it would leave me. Okay, I'm gonna go this way this time. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you be what really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for uh -huh. us? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Uh -uh. What would I give? Why would I give you? A chance, Sir Stanley. Now listen carefully. This is important. I'm the new narrator. Stanley walked through the red door. S Stanley just couldn't listen to the narrator. He thought it would be funny to uh, mess with, to completely mess with him. So he walked through the blue door instead. Aha! Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Stanley still wanted to go to the blue door, just to ruin. The narrator story. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Stanley still wanted to mess with the narrator. Because he still thought it was funny. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yep. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what, let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Hmm. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Worldwide leaderboard, a Stanley Parable. Good old Neil is in first place, which is offline. Never. Oh, it looks like everyone's offline. Oh, I s some people are online. Stanley four two seven. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Really? No. Too hey, dumb. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Check it out. Here we go. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I can do this for four hours, you kidding? But Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. All right. Wonder, <laughs> wonder what it is. It's probably something from Half Life Two, or because that's what it was in the mod. It was something from. It was a train station from Half-Life 2, which I think it was from Half-Life 2, like, it was similar, at least. <gasps> well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired, a game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Minecraft. I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Where, where, where? Oh. This will go here. No, 
here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Really? I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. A dirt check. Uh, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Uh, Isn't it grand? Okay. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Mining! Oh, cave. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? A light? I don't think so. No. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Oh! Zombie. That was a Minecraft zombie sound. What's next? <laughs> yes! <coughs> I don't know what this game is, but uh -huh. I love it. You uh -huh. are trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. It's Portal! Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Portal! Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot. I just step out. That. that. <coughs> It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forte. Genius. Wow. Portal. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. What? I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. I'm jumping down. Whoa. This one. Hey. It's the original layout. This is the original. Yeah. Oh. 